Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Rodney, and I'm back. And I feel like running my mouth just for a little bit. For those who don't, shout out to the new people. For those who don't know, anytime you see me sitting in my car at night, um, I'm at work and I'm on my lunch break. I work overnight, at least for the time being. Um, so let's go ahead and get into this mess because uh, my lunch break is about to be over in a little bit. All right, so listen. Everybody knows what happened at the Real Housewives of Potomac reunion. We not even, I'm not even about to go uh, a play-by-play -play of what happened at the reunion. So we had the reunion. Monique embarrassed the dog, <laughs> F-U-C-K, out of Giselle. Had her sitting there looking stupid in front of everybody. Um, Jamal Bryant came back and responded. I did a live the other night. And I said, I didn't think Jamal was wrong for responding to Monique. Um, Monique came back, I think, yesterday or the day before yesterday. And she responded to Jamal's um, live or the video that he... Uh, I don't know if it was a live video or if it was just a video that he made and then posted it. But anyways, so... I'm going to post a response. I'll post an article in the uh, in the um, description. I'll post a link in the description box so you can go read it. Because I don't have it with me and I'm using my phone to make the video. So anyways, this is how I look at it. And this is the thing, right? Anybody who's been watching my channel knows that I probably have not had anything nice to say about Jamal Bryant. I think the nigga is tied through and delayed. I do. Yeah, I do. I think he's trifling as trifling as hell. Um. So I, 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 you know, I have not been the most positive when it comes to speaking about Jamal Bryant, and I think that a lot of people who have watched my videos know that, right? This is the problem that I'm having with this situation. Okay. People don't like the fact that Jamal made a video. I've been seeing a lot of people say that because he's a pastor, um, it's just not a good look. But my question to you is, what would you expect if he was there at the reunion and Monique has said these things. Would y'all expect him just to sit there, bring out a Bible, read a scripture, pray for everybody? Like you have this woman telling a man that he's a pastor holy whore and that he's throwing his dick around the congregation and that he has baby a uh, baby with somebody in the congregation and that man is just supposed to sit there and take it? Even if it is true, right? He said it wasn't. Let me say that. He said it wasn't true. But even if it is true, you have another grown-ass woman disrespecting another grown-ass man. Now, some people will say, well, Giselle called Chris Big Boy. Cool. But it still doesn't take away from the fact, let's, but we're going to be honest, y'all. Calling somebody Big Boy and calling somebody Pastor Holy Whore are two different things, Girl. Girl. That's like, that's like calling somebody big girl versus a bitch. Y'all don't think that's different? Okay. Um, so my whole thing is if, 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 if Monique had said these things at the reunion and Jamal was there, what would y'all expect from Jamal? Y'all would expect him not to say nothing because he's a pastor. So Jamal was not at the reunion. He, of course, catches wind of what Monique says. He makes a video addressing the things that are <laughs> addressing the things. God, I told y'all, girl, to me that video, I wasn't mad at his response. I felt like he really didn't say nothing to me. I wasn't mad at him responding though. So he makes he makes a response video um, for Monique, and Monique comes back with her statement. I don't get why y'all don't understand how. Like, and this is coming from somebody who makes YouTube videos and I talk a lot of shit. Why can't y'all understand that disrespecting people, calling them out of their names, if they come back and say something, 
How you gonna sit here and be like, well, you shouldn't say nothing because you a pastor? This grown ass woman just disrespected this grown ass man, and y'all expect him not to say nothing? Again, if he was at the reunion, what would y'all what would y'all expect him to do? Would y'all expect him just to sit there? Y'all expect this grown ass man to sit there and let another grown ass woman call him Pastor Holy Whore? And say that he's throwing his dick around the congregation. Like, come on, y'all. So it's okay for Chris to get on live with Monique. But it's not okay for Jamal to make a video and defend himself because he's a pastor. And let's just be honest, y'all. Y'all can sit here and say, because a lot of y'all were saying this in the comment section on the live, that Jamal was just used as collateral damage. You can say that all day long, but girl, all them shots that Monique was taking was shots at Jamal. And that's just what it was. The only thing she said to um, Giselle is that you fraudulent. But everything else had to do with Jamal. So why would y'all expect this man not to say nothing after, let's be honest, Monique is on a popular reality TV show on Bravo with probably a million plus viewers. And this woman can go on TV and say these things and everybody's supposed to just take it. Would you take it? Oh, he's supposed to take it. He's supposed to take it because he's a pastor. So Monique can drag bitches in barns, bring Sherman X wife around, disrespect another grown ass man, and everybody supposed to be cool with it. I don't get it. Chris can Chris can get on live with Monique and defend his family, but Jamal can't get on live and defend himself <laughs> because he's a pastor. Monique can drag a bitch through a barn, bring an ex-wife onto the show, <laughs> disrespect another grown-ass man, and Monique was right for doing everything. Okay. And nobody is supposed to do nothing about it. Okay. I, I just, it's weird. Like I said, y'all already know I'm not the biggest Jamal Bryant fan. But I just think right is right and wrong is wrong. And I just I just don't I don't I don't see how y'all think that it's okay for Monique to really get on this reality. Like the thing is, Jamal ain't worried about me or these other well, yeah, he because he was getting bitches videos taken now. But like if I was on TV, if if girl, if I had this big popping YouTube channel and I was on here like oh so and so and so and so and so and so you don't think Jamal would try to get my videos taken down or probably take legal action if I was on here telling lies and not saying allegedly like the, cause you know you know Jamal got the girls videos taken down right y'all y'all know about that right we already talked about that so it's like I I just think it's weird but I tell you one thing, one thing I'm gonna say about that Monique, baby. Monique done pulled a Donald Trump on y'all asses, baby. But I tell y'all, Monique done pulled a Donald Trump on y'all asses. And I can't believe girl, I, I can't even get mad at it, girl. Monique done came into the motherfucking game, bitch beat bitches ass, disrespect the grown ass men, girl, bring an ex-wives onto the show, and everybody blaming on everybody else but Monique. Girl. I said Monique is a Donald Trump on reality TV, girl. Girl, this girl done pulled a scam on y'all bitches, girl. Monique done came into this whole... Monique came into this season fucking with Candace time and time and time again. Candace apologized time and time and time again. Candace walked away time and time and time again. All it took was one time for Candace to engage with Monique, and that's all Monique needed for, for her to whoop her ass. Girl, I cannot wait till we talk about this reunion tomorrow, because, girl, y'all gonna be mad at what I got to say. Anyways, but yeah. And this is not, uh, again, uh, and again, this is not no, I hate Monique, because again, I hate, I hate the fact that I have to keep saying this, because I don't mind telling y'all the bitches that I don't like. Like, I don't like Michael, I don't like Phaedra Parks. Portia get on my fucking nerve. 
actually pushing it low key if you really want to know the truth. But I actually like Monique. I just think Monique is wrong as fuck for this whole fight situation. And the simple fact that she can get away, this baby, when I say Monique is pretty much getting away with murder. <laughs> How to get away from Monique needs Monique need to teach a class. Babe, Monique needs to teach a class, baby. This is how you this, this is how you flip the script on the girls and get away with some shit that you started. Monique, Monique, Monique been fucking with Candace this whole season. The whole season. We saw that. But girl, y'all say it's Candace's fault. Monique brought Monique brought Kendall onto the show. Sherman's ex-wife and right after Sherman broke up with Giselle and y'all don't think that that's what that's what they got the party roll and like I told y'all the, the other night of my live like yes while Giselle does have this hazing I'm not saying it's right Giselle does have this juvenile hazing thing going on but she does that with all the new girls like Monique is not exempt like the like the only person Giselle didn't pull that hazing shit with was Karen, Robin, Sharice. And that's because she knew all of those girls. But have y'all noticed anytime it's a new girl, she pulled that same stunt. She pulled it with Ashley, she pulled it with Monique, and she pulled it with Candace. The only thing is, Monique came back and brought the ex-wife. I think that yes, while it is true, like we always say, you can't do something, to, you can't do something to somebody, and then tell them how to respond. But we have to get to a point we, where we have to start being honest and start saying that, girl. Like if there are sometimes, sometimes you can't go overboard. The same way y'all got mad at Kenya, the same way y'all got mad at Kenya for bringing the ex, the uh, side chick on because Tanya was fucking with Kenya about that wig. Y'all don't think that it's wrong for Monique to bring on the ex-wife and all Giselle did was <laughs> all Giselle did was say was try to uh, check her about some houses. Hmm. Hmm. I remember saying that if I, and before y'all even get started, I remember saying that if I was Tanya, I would have fucked Kenya uh, up in that restaurant. So y'all don't even start that. Well, you didn't say, yes, I did. I remember saying that if I was Tanya, I would have whooped uh, Kenya ass in that restaurant. That's what I remember saying. Man, Monique out here playing, paying blogs and blogs and all types of shit, baby. Baby Monique, I heard tell girl was telling people girl that Monique that 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 Candace threw a that Candace threw a drink in her hand and the whole time she flicked this girl her and then pulled her across the table. Girl, when I tell you, baby Monique done pulled a Donald Trump honey. Girl Monique said, "Let me get ahead of the story," and she did too. I gotta get that bitch up props, baby. Monique got into that fight and baby started and started re and started and started paying these people to come out here and report these stories. And she flipped that whole motherfucking story. Flipped that whole fucking story. And I don't know. Like, girl, I cannot wait till we see this reunion tomorrow, girl. Girl, I cannot wait till we see this reunion. The simple fact that, that Monique is mad about some shit that happened, what, three, four years ago? Like, girl. I saw people online talking about she was not friends with Giselle. Let me tell you, girl, we ain't, we ain't even gonna talk about that. But yeah, I'm not mad. We'll talk about that for the re when the reunion come on tomorrow. But yeah, I, I, I'm not mad. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm not mad at Jamal. I don't really understand um, why y'all would expect that man to be disrespected the way that Monique disrespected him and him not to respond because he's a pastor. Like, at some point, like, y'all want to hold everybody else accountable, but when y'all going to start holding Monique accountable for the shit that she do? Like, on on some real shit. Monique can go around here beating bitches' asses, 
bringing buying us to reunions for everybody at the reunion when the, the truth of the matter is the only bitch you really should be beefing with is Giselle. Wendy ain't did shit to you. What you got a towel for her for? Like, you see what I'm saying? It's shit like that. Like, what has Wendy done to you this entire... What has Wendy done to you this season where you felt the need to go get a binder, get a tab, and I guess report rumors and lies? And y'all wonder how this shit get dirty. The shit, get, the shit getting dirty because Monique is making it dirty. Monique brought that woman whole ex-wife into the woman, Monique brought that whole man ex-wife into the show. And then made and then just and that was a part of the reason why Giselle and that man broke up and everybody just like, oh whatever. Girl, y'all hoes is crazy. Shout out to Monique, baby. Care. Shout out to Monique. Bitch, Monique, you need to teach a class. Cause when I say, baby, you done pulled, baby, you done pulled the stump, baby. You done flipped that shit. Baby, mama said how to get away. Baby, I'm gonna start calling um uh, uh I'm gonna start calling Monique Annalise Keaton. When I say, baby, she literally how to get away with murder. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Monique. That's all I can say. Cause I know I ain't crazy. I know that's my retainer, y'all. I know. The, I know the fuck I've been watching. Anyways, y'all. That's all I really got to say. I'm gone. Bye. We'll talk about this shit, baby. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna tell y'all right now. My review for real. For my review for this reunion. I think. I feel like it's gonna be long. I feel like it's gonna be at least an hour. <laughs> Because I know I'm going to have a lot to say. Because I think this part two is going to really be good. All right, y'all. I'm gone. Bye.